to episode 13 of Dreamwood Stables. Hey, look who's awake. How are you feeling? Uh, hmm. Hey, I'm in the stable. Hmm, must be the morning time. Hmm, there's not really any oats in here. Um... See anything? Hey, Alexis, better go walk over. Maybe she's bringing me oats a little bit late. Hmm, that's okay. Oh, all right. No, do not move. You're uh, you're in a bad situation right now. What does she mean? A fine situation. Just in my stable, right? Wait, bandages? Rope support? Give me a second. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, I don't really need all these bandages, do I? I mean, I can't remember anything that I did that would result in this, but I do hurt pretty bad. Um, someone tell me what's going on. Maybe you just need to think. Okay, um, what did, what happened a couple days ago? I got hit by a trailer. That's right. Uh, and Lily was with me. Where's Lily? Hey, Alexis, where's Lily? I know, you must be hurt, hurting, huh? <laughs> well, you can't fuss about it. I mean, we're trying to do our best. Well, I'm just going to leave you to your thoughts now. Huh. Where's Lily? Doesn't she normally greet me in the morning? She got hit by a trailer. She must be really hurt like I am. Is she on rope support? Is there such a thing as rope support for humans? I don't know. I want to see Lily. I guess I better eat my oats. I am pretty hungry. That's all I can do for now. Hey, did you hear, hear about that girl? Shh, girl, uh, Lily, is it right? She got hit by a trailer and so did her horse. Have you seen that stallion? He looks, uh, he looks horrible. I know, I feel so bad for him and her. Well, let's walk these stallions to the pasture, or the corral. Whatever it's called. Hmm. Hey, Lily. Oh, hi, Dad. Looks like you're finally awake. Yeah, I don't feel too good. Yeah, um, I got some reports back today about you uh, and your horse. Uh, oh. Wait, what happened? Why am I in the hospital? Wait, don't tell me. I want to think about it for myself. I got hit by a trailer. And so did Dexter. Yeah, that's what I need to talk to you about. <sighs> okay, I don't know how to say this, but I guess I'll just explain it. First, I'm going to start with you. The good news, and then I'll move on to Dexter. The bad news. Um, well, you are only out on three weeks. Three weeks? That's great news. What even happened? Well, they got, they had to replace, wait, no, not replace, but pull your torso back in place. And because you dislocated your torso, and they had to, uh, and they you broke your leg and fractured your arm. But they say in three weeks you should be back to normal and ready to ride again. Ready to ride again? Okay, that sounds great. I guess. I mean, I don't know. Uh, tell me about Dexter. Okay, this is where the part I, you need to. I need to sit down. Dexter, he's in really bad condition. 
He's fractured all his legs. He's fractured one of his ribs. He's jacked his na neck, jacked his neck up really bad. And uh, his back is the scariest part. I don't know how to explain this. Well, let me start at the beginning. When the trailer hit you that I was driving, I admit you that, and I'm really, really sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to put you through this pain. I know, Dad. It's it's okay. Okay, well, continue with Dexter. Dexter, when he got hit by the trailer, most of the impact went to his back. And, uh, he... He's got... His back is just shattered. Well, I don't know if it's shattered. I don't really know. They just say his back is in really bad condition. Like, the baddest condition a horse can have, basically. They have him on rope support to help him hold up his back. Because it's that bag. Bad. And, uh... He's got... He can't have any weight on his back. For a long time. Like, by the time you get back, he'll still be on rope support. And in his stall. Will he still have fractured legs and fractured ribs and... Messed up neck? Um, his neck will take another week, but, uh... Other than that, yeah. He's pretty bad. Um... Okay, okay, now my turn to, to ask you something. Dad, have you ever been afraid to ride? Sure, I've been afraid. When I was about your age once, I uh, took a bad fall on a jump, knocked the wind out of me, Bear, couldn't breathe at all, knocked the wind out of me, as I said before. I, uh... I just, I thought, what would my future look like without horses? It would look horrible. I wanted horses in my life. I wanted, you know what? If I didn't get back on that horse, I wouldn't be here at Dreamwood Stables. You know? And, uh, yeah. So, I got back on that horse. I jumped that jump, and, uh, I've never really, haven't took time to overcome a fear of falling again. Why you ask? I'm afraid, Dad. I, I love horses. I love riding. I love it all, but I, I don't know if I can do it. I'm so afraid, like... Once I get back on that horse, what's going to happen? Am I going to fall again? Am I going to... Am I going to get hit by that trail or get hit by something? Am I going to cause a horse pain? What's going to happen when I get back on that horse, Dad? <sighs> Honey, you got to take... You know, I don't really know what to say to you. I, you need to take the time to think... What would, I need to get, what, I'm going to encourage you to overcome this fear of getting back on that horse and uh, riding again. I'm going to encourage you to do it, but you need to understand that it's your choice. What would your life look at like without horses? Because you're too afraid to ride. I don't know. Okay, well, you got three weeks to think about it. I'll get, get back to work. Um, see you later. I'll be back tonight. Bye. And that ends episode 13 of Dreamwood Sale. So, guys, please like and subscribe down below. And uh, the next video will come out tomorrow. And uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye.